Okay, to begin, we are going to make a ladder scenery that you can actually climb. And to begin with, we need to make our model in Autodesk 3DS Max 8, or any version will work. So we need to wait, wait till this loads. Once it's loaded, we need to make a box and I think 250 will be good for this with 10, oh no, let's make this 10, let's make this 50. I changed that so that when I hit front when I hit front, it goes like that instead of on the side over here. So it's a little bit easier because there's a hotkey. So, once I've done that, well... No, wait. Make a box. I forgot to add some segments and I... So... And make this 50. And put this at 250 and we need three width segments so that we can make the ladder face and we will name this ladder and so convert this to an edible mesh face selection and no not face selection go in the front viewport find our object and highlight one line of these vertices and pull them over to the other ones. The spacing doesn't matter, but just get them like right next next to them, so they're about touching. And then go into face selection polygon and um, pull these back around. 10. Doesn't have to be exactly 10, but just around there. And go to top viewport so you can see what this looks like. And it should look something similar to this. Once we've done that, highlight the entire thing. Set ID as 1. And clear all smoothing groups. Select the front face and set ID as number two. Once we've got that covered, we can make a frame so we don't forget later. Name this frame. It has to be named frame. Size doesn't matter. And take the link, select our ladder, and link it to the box. So that when we display our subtree, it should look like this. Frame on top and ladder indented. And once we're done with that, we can texture our object. So we go discard, set number to two. For the first one, this is just going to be your metal, everything but the ladder. So select the little box next to the fuse, bitmap and navigate to your Halo Custom Edition folder um, data levels test tutorial bitmaps and we will use plate floor it doesn't really matter which one you use but copy the name and open go to parent show map and viewport and paste we're done with that one so then we go into the next one, the little icon next to the fuse, and bitmap, and ladder. Copy it, open, go up to parent, show map and viewport, paste. But this is where we need to change something. We need to add shift 6, this little carrot here. We need that. 
this tells the game that this is a climbable surface. Only this, the face that is textured with example tutorial ladder, you will be able to climb. Go up to this, select our ladder, and you can either drag it over or click this button. And we are done with that, so we can go select our ladder face. We can do that, or we can just type in 2 and select ID. It's the same thing. And we need to go to our modifier list and go down to UVW map. Change this to a box. And the only thing we're going to change is the V tile and make this 5. If you'll notice, um, Master Chief is about 70. That will be around here. So you don't want one big bar where he puts his foot if he's only this tall. If he's only... You don't want the one huge bar here if he's only this tall. That wouldn't make any sense, so we need to UVW map it to make it look correct. And we finish that. Select this, make sure this link to it, and we can save. And while we save, we will make our directory. So, Halo Custom Edition, data, new folder. We will name this ladder. And three, three folders, bitmaps, models, and physics. Open our models, save this as ladder save. We need to export. I'm using Blitzkrieg, but you can use the JMS exporter. And go to that ladder, and we need to go back to our Halo Custom Edition data, ladder, models, save. We need to export it one more time for the physics folder. So we physics, type in ladder, but this time we need underscore collision save that and we are done with 3DS so we go into tool no before before we do that we need to locate our ladder, ladder bitmap and copy it into our folder so test tutorial bitmaps just copy it copy this go back to ladder bitmaps and paste and we should be good so tool bitmaps we don't need levels anymore because we're, we're like we would in making a level but we're not in the level directory so we just go one above that and that that is the name of our folder ladder bitmaps and you notice we get a warning we do not want that so we will open the bitmap that it made and that's this we need to change it under format we need to change it to compressed with explicit alpha save this yes close that hit the up key and we will not get a warning this time open up grill again new and we need to make a shader model. And we scroll down halfway to the maps part and go to base map, ladder, bitmaps, and copy the name and open. That's all we need to do. And then save changes, ladder, make a new folder, and name this shaders. Save this copy and paste it and we need to put that little carrot in so it'll work so it'll compile right and save it we're done with gorilla and now we need to tool model ladder and after it's done with that tool Collision Geometry Ladder and it's done with that so now we need to make our scenery 
new scenery okay for bounding radius let's do 20 and for render bounding radius let's do 20 and for model we need to make or put our ladder.gbx model in don't make sure you don't put the collision one in the model section and the model in the collision section they need to be correctly inputted otherwise you'll get an error so for this one we need the model underscore colli collision geometry save this this will be our scenery so ladder save now let's open up just open up any scenario that you've made test works and go to mission objects scenery edit types add let's find our scenery that we made ladder right here and add it right there make sure it appears there done okay go to here and move it in a little bit and we got it in the black part of the bitmap we can see through and we're done with that so save now go back to tool and type in build cache file and levels our map name for me small and once we're done that we hit enter and it finishes up successfully built cache file so that means we're good to go and I will open up Halo and show you that it works. Team okay, here's the ladder we put in, and notice we can climb it. The black part of the bitmap we can see through, and we can even sometimes we can even shoot through, but I guess it's not working. So, that is the end of my tutorial. I hope you, this helped you, and good luck with your scenery that you make in the future. This is John Amanda.